The takeoff runway and departure procedure can be entered at any time during the pre-flight before or after the flight plan has been activated. To select a departure runway, go to the Takeoff and Climb tab and select Runway SID. Select the departure runway. The SIDS window displays all of the available departure procedures in the navigation database for the selected runway. Select the desired departure procedure and transition if applicable. If a departure procedure is not required, you can leave it blank. Review the selection and then activate it. Pilatus 1-2, Papa Charlie, change to runway 35. Taxi via Lima, Mike, hold short, runway 35. Lima Mike, hold short, runway 35, Pilatus 1-2, Papa Charlie. There are several ways to change the departure runway if necessary prior to takeoff. One option is to click on the runway in the waypoint list and select Departure Arrival. Another option is to click on the Runway SID prompt on the takeoff window. The change can also be made graphically on the iNav map by clicking on the Departure Airport and selecting Departure Arrival. Regardless of the method chosen, the departure window is displayed with the current runway and departure in the flight plan. To change the runway, first deselect the current runway and then select the new departure runway. Anytime the runway is changed, the departure procedure must be re-entered, even if the departure procedure did not change. Insert and activate the changes. Then review the flight plan for accuracy. Changing the departure procedure is similar to changing the runway. To change the departure procedure, deselect the current procedure. All available departures for the flight plan runway are now displayed. Reselecting the runway is not required if only the departure has changed. Select the new departure procedure and transition if applicable. Insert and activate the changes, then review the flight plan for accuracy. A discontinuity is created in a flight plan at any time a defined flight path does not exist between two waypoints. Adding a departure procedure typically results in a discontinuity in the flight plan. It is caused by a lack of a common point between the departure procedure and the en route portion of the flight plan. Once it's determined that the discontinuity can be removed from the flight plan, it can be deleted just like any other waypoint. This has been an overview of takeoffs and climbs on the Primus Apex equipped Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft. Please refer to the aircraft flight manual for more information.